Hey guys, so for whatever reason, 2K has decided to completely screw with us and change the formatting of the roster file. Let's just grab one real quick, go to my saves folder, scroll down, take the current two, and we're going to hex edit it. And I'm also going to take an old one. We'll take my Street Volume 2 because this happened within the past couple weeks. So if you go, you're, we're in the NBA Street Volume 2 roster, and you go all the way down to the bottom, and it's just gibberish, right? I mean, you know, some of us know what all this means, but mainly that's just gibberish. You go to the current roster. This one was uh, released, uh, the first update in February, um, and the January 30th update had this as well. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Oh, crap, all of a sudden we have names we can actually edit. <laughs> what 2K done is, for whatever reason, without changing the file size, they've unencrypted the bank of names. So instead of getting this crap, we're getting actual names. And you may have remembered a previous tutorial where I went into the online data downloads and right-clicked the uh, roster file after decompressing it and generating a roster file that I can edit like this. No longer. We can just edit whatever the hell we want in this um, roster now. Um, excuse me. Now, remember, we can't change the sizes of the names. you got to keep it the same. But let's say if I want to change Thompkins into just Thomp. Um, let's just turn Overwrite on real quick. I can just put spaces right here. And this will still work and be happy. Now, it's not all sunshine because if you edit the roster file you need to remember to change the roster the excuse me the uh, rosters CRC 32 check at the beginning of the file so remember you can go through here if, if from the previous tutorial um, let's just go ahead and find uh, the Celtics home uniform and remember you want Unicode string on so you have these zeros maybe if I remember what ID the Celtics are there it is. I can change this to whatever if file I want with, within um, five characters. And what's even nicer is that if I want to change the Celtics court to something else, like I already did in this roster, excuse me, I can change it so that instead of using F005 for the, for the uh, Celtics roster, I have it going to FM05 because I have custom uh, reflection uh, courts I like to use that are personal. But remember, after you make any changes in here, before you can save the uh, roster, you need to take care of this uh, C32 check. Um, you might be able to open this roster in the roster editor and then just save it, and that that will update this and change it. Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this real quick. So the first thing you want to do is you want to delete these bytes. They're gone. You want to go ahead and save the file without those bytes. I don't want to overwrite what I did. So let's just do a dash one. You want to go back and you want to run this CRC32 uh, program. Open up the file. Change this to dynamic assembly and hit CRC32. That's it. What we need is this text right here. So let's go ahead and change this up. Oh, wow. What was I doing with this thing before? All right. Now we can't just simply copy and paste this in. We have to do this in reverse byte order. So that means we gotta go two two four D B three C E. So without overwrite on, we do two two four D B three C E. Save it, and that's it. Now the CRS, the check up here will work just fine and um, 2K should recognize it. And just for fun, let's go ahead and turn overwrite back on uh, right there and change it to Mexico. Save it. And then let's open this up in the roster editor and just see, for fun, because screw it, why the hell not, if it will update that CRC32 check for us. Because we had to recalculate CRC on save. So, la 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 la, save players. And then we can close this. And, oops, I did something. <laughs> and let's go over here again and open it again and see if it changed. Yep. 
So you can just open the thing in the roster editor and then do that. Save the players tab. Much easier that way. Ah, <sighs> but that's just basically it. It's more of an inform informative uh, thing on the you know that we can actually edit the bank of names and rosters again, like we could in previous years. If for whatever reason 2K goes back on us and gets rid of this amazingness, you can go to the download section of the NLSC. 2K13. Go to the official updates. And Andrew um, provides a download for the official 2K13 roster and online up data update. Now, let's say we want an older update. You click this down box right here above the download, and you can get the January 30th update. Um, I'm sure he's going to have the, the February update from this past, with the one that had the Rudy Gay trade in. I'm sure that will be uploaded. Oh, that is the one that's uploaded. That's the current one. So when he updates this later on, when they do the All-Star stuff and all that stuff, you can find the February update in here and just click on it. And then if I hit download, I'll get the October 31st one or whatever one you choose. So remember that the January 30th and the February 2nd are the two updates that have the bacon names editable in the roster files. Even if you open these up in the game and then save a new roster, they still have the bacon names all happy and editable. So I hope this helps. I hope you guys learned something and I will see you in the next tutorial and I need to blow my nose.